Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. It's finally Friday. And I got just a bunch of random so stuff I'm just this gonna week. So go for it as it sits here. Um, this is something I found at Old Navy. I had some time before an appointment and it was early. So I said, well, I'm gonna go in Old Navy before it gets, that parking lot gets crazy. And I found this and I love it. I wanted to wear it today. I just could not think about what I wanted to wear it with. So, but I just love it. I think it's gonna look awesome under like, it would look good under like one of those long cardigans or with um, just it, even a, like a boyfriend blazer or something like that. And it wasn't very expensive. Um, it was $16.94 and I got the small. I looked at the medium and the thing is the mediums always, it's like right here that I have a problem with mediums. They'll be too big and they'll kind of bunch up when I put my arm down. So I got the small and um, I figured I'd probably be wearing it under something anyway. And um, that's all I got there. I got Brooks and little before I, I keep catching myself in the camera because I've got more makeup on than usual. Today I tried to do a Sofia Vergara inspired look. So you have to let me know what you think and let, you, let me know if you would like the tutorial. I tried to remember every single thing that I did. I'm trying to do Pay more attention now since I'm gonna do the tutorials. And um, sorry, Sassy is clawing my chair. Chanel's down here playing Just with told the you bead. about <laughs> the makeup. And so, but one of my missions this week was, and you know, every week I love to have like a little theme or something to my shopping. <laughs> and um, one thing was I wanted to try to find some other lipstick colors that were that good, saturated, mid-tone type colors like rosy. Huntington Whiteley wears, and I think that's what kind of got me thinking about Sophia Vergara, too, because she always has a good eye makeup look with a good, you know, mid-depth lip on. So, I got just lip products galore. I will probably name this video something to do with lip products because it's insane, but I'm going to go ahead and do some, show you some other stuff first. Okay, I went to my med spa because I have told you I've been having this chronic dryness around my nose and it's not normal dryness it was to the point where it was just irritated and so I asked my esthetician what it was because I'd been using my Clarisonic I'd been using my uh, Rafisa and she said actually and I didn't even think about this that in the new derm system you're supposed to use the Exvederm Forte which is got the acids in it, I'm not sure which one, that they say what it does is it dissolves the glue that holds the skin, the flaked off skin together so that you will slough it off. And see, I'm not using that anymore. So what she suggested is for me to get this, which is a purifying gel cleanser with salicylic acid, glycerin, and yucca. <laughs> anyway, it's a mild cleanser that has a little bit of the salicylic acid in it and she said it was great to use with your Clarisonic. So you just take a little bit and it smells so good. It has that kind of sweet, almost like candy or fruity smell to it. And um, so I've been using it along with the Dove because I can't really get into my eyelashes and my eyes real good with this. So I've been taking this, you know, getting around my nose real good and you know, my forehead and stuff like that and then using it with my Clarisonic and then in the mornings, using that Dove to really get in my eyelashes real good and get any residue of makeup and stuff off. So, so far, so good. I got this on the cap. I'm just gonna take this cap off because it doesn't stay on very well. But I got this on, I think Monday, Monday or Tuesday. And um, I've used it since then and no breakouts or anything. And my nose has pretty much just cleared up. The other day, it's the amazing. Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I got this small size, thank goodness, because my gosh, it's a lot. And you have to be careful because it comes out real easy. Now, one thing I should have said the other day is I have not been using this like Kim Kardashian's makeup artist does where he does the whole inside of her face with it. I've just been using it like you saw me do the other day with the little brush on my T-zone. So I may not be getting the full benefits of what people brag about this for. You know what I mean? So... You know, a lot of people ask me what I thought about it, and I like it. I really do. It's a beautiful powder. It's real smooth. It's not chunky. It blends in awesome. Um, it's just, it's a really pretty color. The banana powder, the name of it makes you think it's just going to be so yellow, but it's really 
perfect for me because I love a golden look. But um, so, so far, so good. I really do like it. Now, do I like it just so much better than my Derma Blend? Not really, you know, because that's invisible. Um, but I will use both of them. Today, I used the Derma Blend because I already had this out here. So you probably can't tell a whole lot of difference. Um, I believe what her makeup artist does is use this with a wet, like square, those little triangle sponges. Um, so it might be something fun for you to, you know, try, but I've been trying to bring more color into the insides of my cheeks. So I don't want to do that whole triangle thing right now. This so is that. something totally random. And this is one of the first, I have not done an impulse buy like this in a long, long time. I was watching Martha Blushing Pixie and she was doing a review on these brushes. And I believe it was weekend before last because they came from Australia. So it took a while for them to get here. But it is the Ray Morris brushes. And it's a whole set. It's the Christmas special, I believe it was. And I believe it was right around 150. And what made me, there's several of these brushes that really caught my eye and made me want to order them. Okay, one of them is, and I, this is the other thing, is I used all of these brushes today. And the only other brushes I used were my Sephora 55 airbrush to just do my foundation, which I probably could have tried maybe this one, which is the Deluxe Kabuki, but I didn't want to, I don't know, I just didn't want to mess with it today. I wanted to just use what I knew I liked, so I didn't. But I did use this one for my bronzer and contour, and I loved it. And so that's the little mini Kabuki. I used, this is a concealer brush. I used it a little bit just to use it. Um, it's very similar to like the Bobbi Brown concealer brush. It's, you know, just a concealer brush. Um, I used this, and I really, really liked it. It's the Bent Liner Brush, but what's different is, I don't know if you can see that these, bristles are a little bit shorter and have a little bit more control than your typical I know it does more than the Sonia Kashuk and I think it does more than the Smashbox too so I really like that and then God, okay now little man's scratching on the door little so man says what is up with this cold weather we're not used to this here it's like this morning I think it was in the 30s and that's just I don't know how low it got last night but that's just way cold um, and then this brush this is the Deluxe Eyeliner. And you see how it's a big eyeliner brush, but I love brushes like this for going over my lashes, or I, I mean, I really like the big brushes like this, even with gel liner. So um, I think I'm gonna really like that. I used it today to go over the lash band. Um, and then this one is pretty, you know, normal. It's just a medium oval shadow brush. And I probably shouldn't be doing a review now, but, um, and then I used this today. It's the Angle Brow and Mascara Definer, which is just a brow brush. I used it to brush out my brows. And can you tell I brought my uh, eyebrows in a little further and did them a little more square in the front to look like Sophia's. <laughs> I don't have a bit of Latin or whatever in my body, but um, I just thought that would be neat to try. And so I really did like this. It worked very well. It's if you like a real stiff one, it's not real stiff, but it's, um, it is still real thin. And you know, this was good. This, this brush is good. This reminds me of the Louise Young, um, a little bit different, but I love this crease brush and how tapered and pointed it is. And I believe that's when I stopped the video and went and ordered it is when I saw, it's these two. I think it's when I saw, uh, Martha put her shadow up underneath her bottom lashes with this because I just knew that was going to be perfect for that and I used it today and it is the medium preci precision shader so it's just a good I don't know like crease brush and it was real easy to get that you know winged out liner it was just awesome and then this you guys know I love a square lip brush and I didn't use this today because I had glossy lipsticks and I didn't really need to, but I love a square lip brush. And then this is just the chiseled smudger. And actually I use this to put a little bit of white shadow on the inside. And they're magnetized for some reason. They all stick together. Um, so I can say I do think these are worth it. Um, I haven't had any fallout. Um, I just, I didn't give them a, 
pure deep cleansing. I kind of just did them on brush cleanser for the first time on a napkin, you know. But, um, so I've seen some mixed reviews. That just happens. I mean, there's good and bad MAC brushes. Sometimes you just get a faulty brush that isn't glued good and a lot of the bristles fall out, but so far so good. And I think it's a good price. So I would say even if you are in Decline to go order them now you'd probably be okay but just wait and let me tell you how they are but so far I just love them they're very unique the only thing I could say I don't like is they're kind of short so they might fall down in my brushes but I might just keep these separate so all in all I would give them thumbs up they will go along up. with the Kim Kardashian thing theme and um, I have not even opened this but I was watching Natalie flower bomb 31 and she did a real neat video on makeup that celebrities use and goodness gracious here it is and one of the things that she said kim kardashian's makeup artist used on her was this blush which is nyx and i don't know how i'm supposed to get this off but the name is peach and it's not very peach but it's one of my bright good colors that i've been loving lately and here we go and i should have used this but it's just a beautiful color it's I would say it is a peachy pink, but more pink. Than NYX peach. makeup, yeah, sorry. NYX makeup is just wonderful. I told you we're getting a couple more cases. And before I forget, yesterday when I was in Ulta, I met one of my subscribers, Barbara, and I wanted to say hey to Barbara and thank her for, thank you for coming up to say hey to me because, uh, Whenever I have a couple of down YouTube days where I get a little discouraged, that just makes it worth it. That just fills the cup right back up. And thank you, Barbara, for coming over and saying hey to me. I appreciate it. So anyway, um, Ulta is going to get more of this. And I was even telling Gina I was on the Nordstrom site, and they had NYX lip glosses on the Nordstrom site. So they picked this Good up, for him. and this kind of goes with my mid-tone full bodied lip colors and i have not tried it yet but it is a soft matte lip cream in san san paulo i think it's p-a-u-l-o and so i'll swatch that and we'll kind of get on into the lipsticks but it's a beautiful color and i love these i love these and the the matte ones and the other ones. I can't remember what they're called right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, the other day when I did my Rosie tutorial, Brooke and I headed out of here because we were going to get her hair cut, and I forgot to take the lipstick with me. But I was thinking, well, you know, I'd like to find a couple of other colors that are similar to that anyway, so I could tell you guys about it. If Burberry is not accessible to you or if you don't want to pay which I think they're worth every penny. I have been so impressed with those lipsticks. I've got the Redwood on now, and I love them. But if you don't want to, you know, wait and um, get one of those or whatever, I we had gone into, we had like an hour to kill before we had her appointment, and we went into Ulta, and I looked at these. And <laughs> I have to talk too much. This one is the Smashbox Primrose. And you will not believe this, but little man with his old man self is over there playing with the blinds. I think he just, when they start playing, it makes him think he's got to play too. I'm going to let him slide. <laughs> but this color is primrose. And um, I love it. It is gorgeous. Just a beautiful color. And um, I will swatch it right beside that NYX color and it looked so good with that makeup and see how glossy it is it is just a beautiful color so i'm not sure how much this was but it is worth it and then i remembered how much i really like the lorac or lorac lipsticks and i went over there to look at those and they had this one which is called vanity now this one's going to be more of your rosy tone in that same you know color family and then this one is going to be more of the brown rosy and it is really pretty too oh it's so pretty so you can see along the lines that i'm going for this week and that is just so pretty these lipsticks that one there's one i have called nude scene and it is gorgeous too if you want a nude so that i ordered i had heard that which i've since then, I've started following Rosie on 
Instagram, which has been my new, I love Instagram. I love how quick and easy it is. And um, I'd heard that one of you told me, I think, that she wore the NARS Matte Velvet Lip Pencil in Bahama. So I ordered that from Sephora and I just got it. And then yesterday, I think I read on her thing that she also likes the Pop Life and the one that starts with a W. I can't remember the name, so I ordered those too because I love these. I have, I think, Sex Machine and Dolce Vita and Bettina, and I really like these. So this one is a really pretty color. So you can see it's still along those same lines. And you could even do this because these things last forever. Matter of fact, I put this on one morning and decided I wanted something a little brighter and I could barely get it off. And it was really a neat base to put something over. So I got okay, that. So back to, I've been to Ulta like three times this week. Then, um, let's see, one, one day this week I was, I don't have time anymore to really watch a whole lot of YouTube videos, which... I hate that because I love it, but every once in a while when I go to your pages to thank you or to do something, I'll see a thumbnail and I'm like, oh God, I've got to watch that. Well, this one was of Donna, Donna Shorts 1, and I had not watched one of her videos in a long time, and her makeup just looked good as ever, and I loved her lips, and she was doing some of her favorites, and she mentioned this, and I remember a long time ago her mentioning this lipstick, so I said, well, I am going to just go ahead and get it, and it is the... Divine Goddess Lipstick by Napoleon Purtis, and you get it at Ulta, and the color is um, Olympia. And this is more of a pink tone, but it's still in that same, I'm gonna put it right here beside the primrose. It's still in that same, you know, general color family, and it is really, really pretty. The only thing I could say is I put it on that day, I was so anxious, I wanted my lips to look like hers, I was, it has that lipstick taste and smell, but I don't mind it because it's like the old fashioned. It reminds me of my grandma when she used to, we'd get ready to go to church and she'd put that red lipstick on and she'd put a little bit on me. You know, she'd dab it on my lips. And I remember she had those little white ones, those little white Avon ones that she'd let me use sometimes. And um, I think she would even take some and put them on my, put it on my cheeks. And um, so it kind of smells like that, but love this. It's a beautiful lipstick. And um, this was just funny because a lot of you had asked me to look for a drugstore lipstick that was similar to the Rosie lipstick, the Burberry one I used. And I looked and looked, and it's kind of a shame because you can't really swatch them and everything like you can the higher end lipsticks. And so you're kind of more limited. A lot of them you can't even open the lid. So, but this one I grabbed and I think it might be a complete dupe i mean a complete dupe for the napoleon one and this one is called um rose blush and then here is the olympia and i i really think that they're just basically just alike maybe i don't know maybe this one might be a little bit lighter but let's swatch them and see um okay this one does not, that's so funny because I had not even tried this. This one in no way has the color saturation that the Olympia does. So that, that might be still good though. This might be a better option if you don't want such a dark color. It would be, I think I might really like that one almost better. And these have a smell but it doesn't bother me. There's just certain things, I'm not really funny about smells, but just some of them just almost turn my stomach. So this is the Rose Blush, and then that is the Olympia. So you can see all those colors are so pretty. One of the girls that works at Oliver, Courtney, she has big, beautiful lips, and I always love her lip combinations. And I asked her what her favorite lip liner was, and she said, you know, I have used the same one for years and years, and it just works with everything. She said it works with nudes, works with reds, and I said, well, what is it? And she said it was from the body shop, and the name is Beach. And it's, um, I don't know where the color is on here, if it has a number. It's 02 Lip Liner Shade Beach, and it's B-E-E-C-H. And I have it on today. It is good. It is, it would go perfect with all of these. And matter of fact, I'm gonna swatch it right here with them. I'll do it, well, there you go, you can see it. 
so you can see it has a it's not as spicy as like spice it doesn't have the orange in it it's got more of the pink tones in it than the linen it's just a neat color and it was ten dollars so i really suggest that you all go you can just look at it and tell it's a good one it's just oh i love i love lip products so i'll put it over here too I and mean, you can tell it would just go with everything so you can do it lighter you could probably do more of a shadowy look or you can do it darker and i think it would go with like she said i think it would go with reds it would go with nudes it would go with almost everything and i ordered mine because we don't have a body shop and i got it within a couple of days so try that one i think this is one i can safely say so i just try and washed like. that off and but before i did i took a picture of all the different colors so you can see them i went better. to the mac and counter i think whenever i was there i always stop by there to talk to the girls but i wanted to get this color and i started off with this today and it's a matte just a real natural brown shade i can't believe i didn't have it already but it's called bamboo and it's like i said what i started off with today and I like that it has, it's kind of like a peachy brown, and that's what I really like about it. Um, see if I can swatch it, but, oh, you can't tell there. But anyway, I got that, and then this. I've been wanting to try this, and it was one of those things I kept forgetting every time I went. But it is the MSF Natural in Give Me Sun. So it's like their MSF bronzer, and I love it. Love it. I've been using this every day. And I just I think really, I saw really like this it. on a tutorial, and I think I had it a long time ago, and probably I don't know what I did with it, but I bought it again, and it is Girl About Town, and it's just a bright pink that I will wear soon. I promise. I really, I think I've broken a little, a little out of my box but, um, with the colors. I just think that would look good up. with a simple, simple black wing liner, barely any, maybe Urban Decay Naked, and then this on the lips so i'm gonna this do was that another one of my, i think i ordered this with the pencil the nars pencil this week i saw two different times one time on the housewives of miami i saw joanna krupa her makeup artist using this on her and then the other night on oh god this is one of my new favorite shows is the shahs of sunset they are hilarious to me and I love, I've always been fascinated with different cultures and stuff, and I love how tight-knit they are, even as a community and friends and um, Reza. I just, I love watching it, and I love their makeup, especially Lily. Her makeup is like, it is just like a picture. And um, they were using this on her, her makeup artist. So I grabbed it, and it is the NARS it's called foreplay and it is the cheek palette and i think the concept is it's all the colors that go into the nars orgasm blush which that one just looks like it to me but you can see it's a real blue bubblegum pink and then it's like a real corally reddy color and then it's a gold which i love that and then the orgasm peachy type color and I love it. I used it today and it is so neat to be able to take your, gosh, sorry, my hair's in my lipstick. It's so, it's got a good mirror on it. It's so neat to take your brush and to kind of, I don't know, you can kind of put just that little bit more color right here and then ease off the pink as you go back. And then it was neat to be able to take that gold and do a little bit of highlight. And I just really like it. I had looked at it in Sephora when we were in Myrtle Beach and I just thought, eh, that's a gimmick. You know, that would be hard to use, but so, I really like it. Yesterday, is it yesterday or day before yesterday? I think yesterday, I went to the Dior counter, and I, through trying all these lipsticks, I always come back to these, these Dior Addict. They are just, like I said, I've kept one in the car. I love it. It just feels so good. I don't even feel like I really need a lip liner with these because their consistency I don't know it's almost like a gel or something and it just goes to the edges of your lips so pretty it's I don't know it might be just that they're so balmy and glossy and I definitely like them better than the YSL glossy stains I like those but they still have that real slick feeling I like these better and I'll be honest I really like the Revlon lip butters too but these just have so they have so much more color like the colors are better and a little different and they have the sparkles in them so i went and was looking for some of our colors to try and i got these okay this is the one that kate moss wore in the ad when these first came out 
And this color is 578 Dior Kiss. And I love it, it's beautiful. And I will swatch these. They're just so pretty. Some of them have sparkle, like literal, like you'll see one of them has like different color sparkles in it. This one just is glossy and it's just it beautiful. Is number 635 Miami. Oh, I love this one. This is a pretty This one color. is more of a rosy Huntington color and it is, God, it's just gorgeous. Some of you are going to have to get up right now and go get this. And the, like I said, the name is Miami. It's that peachy, just yummy color. And it looks so good on your lips. It makes them so full and glossy looking. And I put this one on as soon as I got in the car. It looks so pretty. And then this one is, I have tried this one on, thought about it since Kat worked at the Dior counter. She doesn't work there anymore. But, and I decided I was gonna go ahead and get it. And it's called Rock and Roll. And it is a sheer red with all different color sparkles in it. I mean, I think it even has, does it have? It has even some of those blue tones that make your teeth look white and your lips look huge. It gives them that, you know, iridescent type look, but you can see it's real sheer. Okay, the it next one really I got, I've looked at this one before too, and I love the name of this. This is like part of my vocabulary and it's Bobo. <laughs> And I always say that when something's kind of generic or something, I'll say, gosh, that looks so bobo or messed up or I don't know, but this one is a beautiful color and it is, a lot of people like this. It's um, more peachy or corally. It's just real pretty. It's gonna be a good spring color. And by the way, I've been wearing that one that I just got, I'll put the name down here because I can't remember right now, but I have loved it, that pink one that I just got. It's in the, it's one of these that's in the new collection. Gosh, I can't remember, but I love it. Love it, love it. So you can see that's Bobo. It's a little bit lighter than the others. And oh, so I've seen you guys use this before and I didn't think much of it. And she said this is one of her favorite products. And it's the Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm, SPF 10. So she got some out and put it on my lips and it feels, it smells like roses, which I love because I don't know, I just love that smell. But it feels just like the Sarah Hap Lip Slip on your lips. And it felt so good when I put it on that I bought it. And last night I put it on for the first time and I thought, well, the true test will be how it feels in the morning because that Sarah Hap when you put it on, it feels so good, and then it's still on your lips in the morning, and this was too. It was awesome. So I'm not sure how much this is, but it is worth it, whatever it is. And it gives you just that plumping, just yummy feeling, and it's not real hard or anything. It's easy to get out. And okay, the last thing. I've been loving makeup. these, the Rouge and Love. I love that pink one, Sweet Embrace, or, oh gosh, I can't remember the last one I just got, but this one is called um, coral or coral in love. It's 322. And this is if you want one of those colors, but you want more of a matte. And I will show you it's along the same lines, but it's still got a, it's, they say it's kind of matte, but it's really not. It's really like a satin. It's still got a good gloss to it, but not like these. It's not going to be juicy looking like these are. It's going to be more of a typical lipstick and it's just really pretty. I got this before I got those. I don't know if I would have gotten this. Yes, this but was something that was kind of an impulse buy because it's not even on the same radar, but it is the Chubby Stick Intense in Curviest Caramel. And I thought this would be a good nude. And they said these have a lot more pigment and staying power than the last ones because I really didn't care for the last, um, the regular Chubby Sticks but it's such a pretty color. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a good nude. And um, so you can see where I was that day, what I was thinking. Just those good, these are kind of like the Joanna Krupa or rosy type show you colors. These. Brooke and I went into Forever 21 and I picked these up. She got a pack and I got this pack for just her and I to share. But I just thought these were so cute. They're just little flower clips. And I thought with my hair being just different, you know, in the summer I might like just, I don't know, just doing something different, especially if it was up or whatever. And I just love the colors, especially that one. It's that nudie color and you just can't beat the prices, $2.80. So 
Anyway, I got those to go to a dumb. new hair person. I started going to her um, this week, and it's kind of just, it's not that there was anything wrong with the other place that I was going. It's just, I'm kind of just going to try to go a new direction, and I'm mainly doing this to control myself. I'm going to go to somebody that I'm not going to be as tempted to do all the newest things, and I'm just going to try to, she trimmed my hair about a half inch, and you can see it's just a good, healthy length and it is just project let it grow out now that's all i want to do i don't want to do any kind of treatments extensions um anything to it i just want to get the color good keep the color good and then just let it grow out so one of her favorite shampoos and she has long just plain blonde hair she likes to use this, which is the Redken Blonde Glam, and I just brought one of these out because they're so big and heavy. But actually, the first day I went in there, they have these on sale for like $14.99 or $15, which is so refreshing. <laughs> um, and if you buy them at Ulta, that you get the pump and then free, I still which I love that. My Aveda smoothing. Matter of fact, I just got this yesterday, and when I did my hair night before last, I used the Aveda. Um, smooth infusium shampoo and then I use this conditioner but she just said that she loves the way it smells it works good and she loves it seems to keep her blonde bright and pretty so I got that and I'm just really excited and I'm just kind of excited to I'm gonna try not to just spend so much money on things on my hair and just try to get it back healthy and let it grow out again but I can honestly say I have I am enjoying this length and I love it and I'm not even freaking out, you know, about it growing out. Matter of fact, I told her, I said, just, she says, well, I'm going to have to take off, you know, X amount. And I said, I don't care. I said, I'd rather it be healthy on the ends than longer. So she took off about a half an inch just to even it up some and because I had not had a trim since I got the initial cut. And um, so now I'm just going to let it grow out. and. Um, then I am going to now do my outfit of the day, and then I have one more thing to so show today you. Today right I'm back. wearing this top, which is kind of long. I love it. It fits so good and feels so soft. I got it last year at Oliver, and it's a Rachel Pally, and it's just a long sleeve. I thought it was kind of Sophia looking. And um, these are the leggings that I got from White House Black Market, and they are the ones that have the seam down the back. They're kind of like a thick ponte knit so you can wear them you know as pants more than these some shoes of them. i'm wearing and are the vince camuto heels that i don't know if you guys remember i bought these at the end of last year on the, sale i think i um leather motorcycle jacket with it and this is what i wanted to show you i got another one of the rebecca minkoff purses and this was the exact exact same size and as the five zip mac and this one is called the three zip mac and you can see, I, don't know, I hope you can see it. I'll show it to you again. But, and I went ahead and doubled the chains. But what I liked about this is not only the color, but it has the studs on the handle and it has gold hardware, where my other one has the silver hardware. And I just love it. And love this it, love is, it. I mean, nine times out of 10, this is how I carry it. And I've just enjoyed it so much. So this is the save the look for today info so I could show it to you. Um, Let's see. So it was 3:30, and it's called the Mac Tri Zip Bone, and they've had it for just a little while in there. Um, you know, I didn't really pay much attention to these bags because I never thought I could use them. But I can honestly say I have not missed my bigger bags, even my Balenciagas, which they're not even that big. But I have not missed it at all, at all. I have not missed one thing. My phone. I've had it out taking pictures for you, but my phone just slips right down in the pocket like that. And I've got a pen in there and it's just, you know, get my wallet out, put it back and um, it's just been perfect. So it has the little thing on that side. And then this is really a, a pocket, even though I haven't really been putting anything in those outside pockets. I haven't really needed to. And then I guess these, these are real pockets too. <laughs> But um, I just thought that was neat. I thought um, it was a cool And color. let me know what you think about this makeup. And thank you so much for all your positive response on my video. It's, it's getting fun. It is. And I'm going to keep up. I'm going to do a tutorial every week. 
and um, thanks to all my new subscribers and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. The fragrance I have on today is Prada Candy and my nail polish. Oh gosh, I'm so glad I thought about this. I love it. It is the Tickle My Francy. And I'm so thankful that Angela, you told me to put three coats because the first coat you're like, uh, the second coat you're like, eh, but the third coat is just perfection. Hope you guys and have I've a wonderful it. weekend. I'll put the pictures at the end of this video and um, I might see you here again soon. If not, I'll see you Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.